Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. His mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. Oh, give thanks unto him, and bless his name. It is he that has made us, and not we ourselves. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. And so we give thanks unto the Lord. And I know that you have thanks in your heart. And I know the Lord knows your heart, but every once in a while, the Lord wants you to say so. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. If you know the Lord has done something for you, if you know the Lord has been good to you, if you can look back in your past and see that the Lord has brought you to a new level of blessing, then you ought to give the Lord some praise and glorify his name. The Lord has done great things for us. And we're glad about it. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you. All you need is a memory to be thankful. If you can remember some past day when you couldn't see your way, didn't know how you were going to make it out, but the Lord brought you out. All you need is a memory. All you need to do is think. If you think, you'll thank. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah. Thank God for saving me. Shake hands with somebody and tell them, the Lord's been good to me. Tell somebody else, the Lord has been good to me. children take your seats please take your seats somebody in here that the Lord has been good to you. 
every once in a while, the only way to really express it. You can't just say it, you can't just think it. You have to dance unto the Lord. So I understand, I understand, I understand. God bless you. Praise God. center of my joy. All that's good and perfect comes from you. You're the heart of my contentment. Hope for all I do. Jesus, you're the center of my Oh, Jesus, you're the center of my joy. All that's good and perfect comes from you. You're the heart of my contentment for all. Come on, Jesus. Jesus, you are, you are the, center the center of my joy. Of my joy. Say it again, Jesus. Jesus you, you are, are the center of my joy. joy. One more time. Jesus, Jesus you are the center. Bless you. Please take your seats. Welcome to all of you to the house of the Lord. What a joy it is to be together. What a wonderful privilege it is to worship his name and glorify his name in this place. And Jesus is the center of our joy. We want to welcome many guests to the house of the Lord today. We're glad for every one of you. We're so happy you've taken time to worship the Lord with us. I want to thank the Lord for Elder William A. Woods. He's the regional director of the State Sunday School Department. He's with us in the house of the Lord today, and how glad we are to have him, along with his lovely wife in the house of the Lord. I'd like for both of them to please stand, and let's welcome them to the house of the Lord. <coughs> God bless both of you. We're also very glad for Lisa Hobson and Lori Brickens from Mississippi. They're the relatives and friends of Brother Jeffrey Short. Lisa and Lori, will you stand and let's welcome them. God bless you. We're glad to have you here. 
We're glad to have Mr. and Mrs. Joel Diamond. He's a music publisher and producer and manager, and we're overjoyed to have him and his lovely wife with us in the house of the Lord. Let's welcome them to the house of the Lord. Also glad for Mr. and Mrs. James Bivens from Indiana, Indianapolis. They're guests of Jack for Bivens, Bivens, but they were looking for it for themselves. And they let you down. But Jesus will not let you down. He said, I'm come that you might have life. And that more abundantly. Someone here is searching for the real meaning of life. The real purpose, the real objective of living you want to be forgiven, you want to know that things are well between you and God. And God gave Jesus to die for your sins. God caused him to rise again from the dead to let you know that this is authentic, this is legitimate. You can have life, not only in this world, but in the world to come. Someone here would say, preacher, I need a change. I need Jesus. I need forgiveness. I need salvation. You can have it today before you leave this auditorium. This is why you're here. You're not here because you decided to come. You're here because God designed your life so that providentially you'd be in this place. It's a setup. God does not want you lost. God wants you saved. God wants to know you. God wants to live in your heart, and God wants to live in your life. The Holy Spirit is dealing with you now, tugging, drawing, wooing, letting you know this is the time. This is the place. You need Jesus. You need salvation. You need forgiveness. You can have it right where you stand. I will pray with you right where you stand. Your destiny can change in the next few seconds. If you would be forgiven, if you would know the Lord, if you would make a change, if you want to be saved, I just want you to raise your hand where you stand. Just raise that hand, lift it up. Every eye is closed, every head is bowed. This is your day. Lift your hand high. Lift it. You and I will join together in prayer. Dear Lord, I want to know you. I want to be saved. I want to be forgiven. I want to see your face in peace. I want to be that happy man. Dear Lord, change my life today. While your hand is uplifted, let me pray for you. Let me pray. Dear Lord, I pray for every person whose hand is uplifted. By your grace and providence, you've brought them here to this place. And you've brought them here because you love them, because you want to save them, because you want to give them joy, fulfillment, and peace. And dear Lord, you're going to do that today. I pray that every sin they've ever committed will be forgiven them. I pray, dear Lord, that you will take charge of their lives and direct them according to your will, your plan, and your way. I pray that they will never, ever be the same again from this day forward. Please repeat this prayer after me, dear Lord. Please forgive me for all of my sins. I'm sorry for the wrong I've done. I thank you, dear Lord, that you gave your son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for my sins. I thank you, dear Lord, that he rose again from the dead and ascended back into your presence. I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and my Savior. I commit my life to him and to your word. I will live for you. Please help me, God, to be the person you'd have me to be. Thank you, dear Lord, for forgiving my sins. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Thank you, Lord, for changing my life. Come on, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 
praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I see a burden of sin, a burden of guilt being lifted from your shoulders and being placed on the shoulders of Jesus Christ. He was wounded for your transgressions. He was bruised for your iniquities. The chastisement of your peace is upon him. And with his stripes, you are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray, but the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. As the prophet Isaiah has said, and Paul said, confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead and you shall be saved. Those of you who lifted your hands, please lift them again for a moment. Just for a moment, please. Lift them again. I want to speak a word to you. If you lifted your hand a moment ago, lift it up and hold it. I want to touch you. I want to shake your hand. I want to agree with you regarding what God has started in your life today, the step you've taken. I want to seal it with a handshake. And I want to know your name and how I can write you because I want to send you a personal letter this week. And I want your name on my desk so that I can call your name in prayer to the Lord and ask God to be with you, help you. I want to give you literature that you can read regarding this decision that you have made so that you can know more about what living for Christ means. And so if you lifted your hand, I want you to step out from where you are, come here to me right now. Step out and come and shake my hand and stand here with me when you come. Come on, from every corner of the room, come forward. Bless your brother. Step close. Stay here with me. Stand with me. God bless you. Thank you for coming forward. This is your day of salvation. God bless you. Stay here with me. Come on, sister. Come on. Come on. Quickly. God bless you. I'm glad you've come forward. Thank God for you. God bless you, sister. Hello there. God bless you. Thank you for coming forward. Thank you. Thank you for coming forward. This is your day of salvation, your day of deliverance. Have I shaken your hand already? Are there others who will come? Are there those already saved who want to become members of the church? You want to join West Angeles? Come here, dear. Come right here. God bless you. If you desire to be a member of West Angeles, please step out and come forward right now and we'll receive you. Come forward quickly. Come forward quickly. Stand right there, little darling. Come on, my dear brother. God bless you. Thank God for you. Praise God. Elder and Sister Woods, we're so happy for both of you. Welcome to West Angeles. God bless you, my sister. Welcome to West Angeles. Come on, brother. Shake my hand. I'm glad for you. Welcome to West Angeles. God bless you. Let's praise God for all of these people. I need just a few minutes of your time. John Hawkins to my left will find out who you are. He'll give you literature. He'll pray with you very briefly, and then he will allow you to go your way. You'll not be separated from your loved ones or from your friends. They will meet you right on the other side of those double doors in just a few moments. Then all of you will go your way. You will probably be through before we are finished with this service, and you'll be able to go your way with your loved ones and friends. If you did not leave your purse with someone that you know and trust or your belongings, you need to run back to your seat and get them. But if they're with a friend whom you know and trust, then you can leave them there and follow Brother John Hawkins right through those double doors. Please go with him. Please go with him. Join your husband. You can be with him, Sister Diamond. Just go on with him. Be with him. Thank God. God bless you. Let's praise God. God bless you, sister. Thank you for coming forward.